Hey everyone, happy new year. It's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am excited that it's 2019, are you? <laughs> I wanna talk today about getting focused on what you need to be doing in your business right off the bat and how you need to be being in your business. Some of you have heard me talk about this before, the doing versus the being. And in fact, I do live events uh, a couple times a year with three days where we talk about the doing, which is the marketing, lead generation, follow-up and sales, back-end business, web pages, all that kind of stuff. We also talk about the being. The being is the confidence, the positioning, the, um, the, the being. <laughs> I'm like, how else do I describe the being? It's um, your mindset, it's your, just your whole essence, I guess is a good word to use, uh, thanks to my friend Steffi Jo. Uh, and it's, it's, the, it's the essence of you. It's the how you are in a crowd, or how you are on video, how you are when you attend a networking event, how you show up um, on your website, how you show up uh, in an interview, how you show up in a speaking gig. Um, it's that being, right? And some of you might know that a year, uh, one year in my business, um, I actually had a struggle with the being part of my business. And it was back in 2008. And I wanted to hit six figures. I wasn't there yet. And I was like, oh, I hired this coach who was supposed to help me make a lot more money, right? And I thought, well, he's gonna show me how to make money and what to do to get there to the six figure mark. Made him a lot of money, mind you. And uh, don't get me wrong, it was probably one of the best years of my life, although it was the worst, because I had to go through some huge personal transformation and self-development work to get to where I wanted to be that year. And uh, so I would go to my mastermind meetings and my coaching calls and all that, and I would just say, okay, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do to make 100000 this year. What am I need to do different? Do I need to change the website? Do I need to add a program? Do I need to raise my rates? Do I need to get in front of more people? Tell me what you see from the outside looking in, which is what I do for people, right? Uh, and then show me what to do. Tell me what to do. And the whole year, all they kept doing is, well, you just need to be. You just need to be. Be love. Be love, Katrina. And I'm like, okay, great, but tell me what to do because I don't know what that means. <laughs> And some of you are totally in the being already in your business, and that's fantastic. But uh, we need a balance of both, right? So that year I cried. I was frustrated. I was like, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. And, you know, I would go to these events and conferences all confused, and I didn't know what to offer. And I would just go and be love, right? And really trying to just offer my support and my uh my, I would hold space. I would have good energy. And that's the year, let me tell you, at the end of that year, I did find uh, actually a love of my life who didn't end up being the long-term love of my life, but it was a short-term love of my life. So I have found love at the end of that year. And I did make six figures that year. I don't know how I did it because I really didn't do anything different other than be different. So that's one thing I want to talk to you about today is being and the doing, okay? And it was interesting because I because I didn't do anything different, I already had some programs, products, and services, obviously, for sale. I was obviously offering them. And because I was so confused and in my own self-development um, transformation that year, I didn't really launch anything new. I just kept the status quo and just kept offering the same stuff. And because I was being different when I would go to events and conferences and show up on calls and things like that, I was just being of service, being in love. And I attracted a lot of great new people <laughs> that year. And I'm telling you, there is something to it. <laughs> and that was also the year that I really tapped into my intuition more too. And I really learned how to see the answers quicker and in decisions, right? In our, in our daily decision making, sometimes um, decisions aren't that clear or easy sometimes. 
is an entrepreneur because we're like, oh my God, if I do this, then this is going to happen. There's pros and cons to every decision, right? And it's scary, especially if you are um, just starting out or somewhat new into your business. It can be a little scary making investments or um, I have a client who's on the verge, right? She, she needs to start playing bigger to see the difference in her business and to get more clients. But it, she's in that zone where she either is going to stay small and stay playing small and probably not attract all the right customers, um, or she needs to step out and play bigger. And it's scary. I know it's scary. And, you know, getting her out of town to an out -town, out of town conference, and she knows who she is if she's watching, but I'm not going to out her here. <laughs> and, uh, the, the thing is that when you make these decisions to play a little bit bigger in your business, be a little bit bigger, position yourself a little bit bigger, things change. Things will change. Your, your inside, you, you will change. You will have more confidence. You will have more, I'd say calmness is the word that I use, but it's more of a being. It's a being, being calm and collected and confident. And that is what, and open, and open and genuinely good hearted, right? That is what attracts the people who are gonna pay you, frankly. Okay, so I want you to think about that in your own life because one thing that when we're not being the right person, what will show up will be fear, anxiety, um, not greed, but uh, a sense of urgency to make the sale, right? Uh, uh, the word I'm looking for is escaping me at the moment. It's desperation. So sometimes when you're in desperation to make money, people aren't attracted to that and they can see it whether you're faking it or not, whether you think you're faking it or you have a mask on, right? Sometimes we wear the mask. It's like, oh my God, I'm really scared. Okay. <sighs> my mask on. Okay. Hi, everything's fine and I'm wonderful, right? I know because I did that for a few years and it didn't really work that well. That was before I hit the six figures because I was wearing a mask and I wasn't being my true authentic self. I wasn't exuding the, the love and the, the calm, collected, <laughs> uh, confident person that I needed to be in order to attract the right clients. So I want to encourage you to look at the being and the doing this year. Now, a lot of times people come to me for the doing, right? That's the majority of what people come to me for. They think, okay, Katrina, when I'm ready to start my marketing, I will come to you. That's not when you want to come to me. You want to come to me before, when you have that first inkling of doing something different, transforming your business, or uh, starting a business in general. Because I help from the top to the bottom, from the big picture all the way down to the nitty gritty of what you need to do, uh, right? And it's that big picture that a lot of times people don't see big enough. They say, okay, I'm gonna do this this year. And I'm like, okay, but can't you do this? And they're like, well, I suppose. Okay, but, okay, great, so we'll do this. And then at the end of the call, I'll be like, okay, so how about if we just squish it out to here? If we just move it out to here a little bit? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and pushing you outside your comfort zone is something I'm, I'm pretty good at, but I also show you how. I show you the how. I don't just push you there and have you figure it out, right? It's about, it's about showing you the how of um, what you need to do and, um, and that's really the key to what I wanted to talk to you too about, too, about focusing on the doing today. So we talked about the being. Um, if you are not feeling that you're being your authentic self or being that confident, calm, collected um, expert that you need to be in order to attract the right clients all year long, then you need to figure out how to do something about that. And I can show you some stuff on how to do that. Hey, Miss Maya, I'm wearing your shirt. Yay. <laughs> hey, guys, Miss this, uh, Maya is the one that creates these shirts. And just as a little side note, I was thinking about you this morning as I put it on because I was going to talk about um, 
the word are, you know, like everybody is talking about like, what's your word for 2019? And it would be fun if we had the word on our shirt <laughs> and we all would have different shirts, of course, and they would cost a lot more because they'd be custom shirts, right? So my word for 2019 is ease, E-A-S-E, -E, ease. And that's because I just want it to be easier. And I worked really hard this last year because, well, many different reasons, because I also worked on, um, uh, my health as well, which I'm continuing the journey in my health, but uh, I worked uh, a lot on new book launch, two book launches. I mean, I have two new books out now, and uh, actually three new books out here. I'm on two compilations, The 4040 Rules, which is over here, right this way, that book. <laughs> uh, my friend Holly put out, and then I put out the compilation in my Jumpstart Your Business, New Business Now book. Um, so that's pretty exciting. But uh, so a lot of new projects, and so it was it was a busy year, and I just wanted to be easier this year. So I've already got some level of freedom, freedom from having to make a sale every day, right? And um, it's 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 that stage in your business where you get to have a certain amount of income coming in that you don't have to worry about making a sale every day to make your goals, right? Now. I still have much bigger goals, and yes, I I need to put more attention towards the sales because if I'm going to reach the the goals that I have right now, um, I'm really going to have to focus on more sales, right, and marketing. Um, but I'm at that stage to where it's not necessary to pay the bills to focus so much effort, and that's a great place to be. So I call that more freedom, right? More freedom. And um, if you're not there yet, it'll come. Now, granted, I'm this is I'm working on my 17th year in business in 2019, uh, so it doesn't have to come that it doesn't have to be that long for you to come to get to the stage. But uh, but yeah, it's it's a good thing. So so how do we need to get into the doing? Right, um, the doing is. What I, what I, in order to get to your money goals, like we all have goals, right? Yes, I want to impact more people. I want to maybe create a center for wellness or I want to, you have some big visions, right? And that's great. Most of our big visions, though, require funding. <laughs> that means you have to get off your butt and make a bunch more money than you think you do, right? It's one thing to be a big visionary and have this big vision, but if you don't have the money to fund it or to flow, or to cover your expenses while you're doing it, then your vision is not going to come true. It's not going to come to reality. So really have to get a money-making plan in order, in order for you to thrive and accomplish those big dreams and visions, right? So, so let's be realistic, please, about what you really need to make, what kind of money you need to make. I have a great need number worksheet that's on my website under the free trainings resources page that is amazing at helping you do that and it's free. You could go there and get it um, at jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Uh, just go to forward slash free trainings and you'll see the need number worksheet there. So you definitely, first you have to figure out the need number. A lot of times people will come to me and I'll say, well, how much do you need to make? And I'm like, I just want to, I want to make 100,000. I want to make 80,000 this year. And I'll say, well, why? Right. Oh, I don't know. I just, that's the number I want to make. Well, let's talk about, so what are you making usually, right? And they're usually making like 10 or 30 or something like that. Well, okay, well, let's be realistic with what you need to make then. And getting a monthly goal <clears throat> because it's already January 3rd, 1st, 2nd. <laughs> I don't even know. Let's see. It's January 2nd, right? So if you want to make 100000 this year, that's $8,333 a month, right? So 8333 divided by four weeks is $2,083 a week. So how, what is your plan for doing that? And then divided by five days, you're looking at trying to make 416, let's round up, $417 per day. How are you doing that? How's it going today so far? Are you making $417 today, right? It's about focusing on the doing so that those sales goals are met. If you're not making $2,000 by the end of the week, either you need to sell a big package, right? 
um, sometime during the month, or you need to sell consistently throughout the month. So, Dorsey, Darcy, I can't read the people. Dorsey, thanks for coming, Dorsey. Um, if you, okay, so let's be realistic with your sales goals, right? So a lot of times people don't break it down like that. Oh, I just want to make $80,000. But then they'll go through January and they'll be like, well, how much did you make? I made 3000 Okay, but that didn't quite add up. Well, I would say 100 right? So your goal is $8,333 for January for every month, right? If you only make 3000 then $5,333 needs to be added to the other months. And once you get March or April and you haven't made your goal, up till then, then you're going to be discouraged. You're going to feel overwhelmed because then it's overwhelming to, to make it up the rest of the year. So we really have to get focused right now, people. Right now is when you need to be focused. You need to be doing the right emails that have the right programs, products, and services, the right pricing, the right um, frequency of touching your database, the right um, marketing to get in front of a lot of new people. So it's that it's that that is going to have you make a bigger impact and a much bigger impact in your in your bank account too for 2019. But we can start now. We have to start now. And if you were on, so um, the things that I look at, I look at what you're selling what kind of programs, products, and services that you are selling. A lot of times people don't even know how to answer that question, what are you selling? They're like, well, I help people transform their lives, right? That's not what you're selling. Yes, yes it is. You're selling that transformation. But when I ask it, I wanna know, do you have a six week program for $300? Do you have an annual program for $10,000? Do you have a membership program for 50 bucks a month? What are you, what are you selling, right? What are you selling? Because if you don't know and aren't super clear on what you're selling, then when you're in a sales conversation with someone, maybe I'm your prospect, right? And you're talking to me and you say, okay, well, it sounds like you're really interested in getting some help. And I have these two ways that I can help you. This one and that one. Which would you like? And that's super clear then to me, your prospect, going, well, I don't think I want to do it that way, so let's go with that, right? If you just say, well, I can help you, I'm like, okay, great. But how? Doing what? How much is it? What do we do? I mean, like, you can't leave the prospect wondering what you're doing. And so many people I talk to cannot get that clarity with that. And this is probably the single most important thing that's holding you back from making the money is because you're not super clear on what you're selling. So when you get into a sales conversation or any kind of conversation with a potential prospect, you don't even offer them anything not even anything to get started or you offer them something but they don't take advantage of it because it's not clear right so we have to get clear on what you're selling first and then we go turn on the marketing hose and then we go okay shoot a bunch of Facebook out right and send some emails out and have a webinar or a Facebook live or whatever it is so get clear on what you're selling and then we can turn the marketing hose on this is why you want to come to me before you're ready to market because I guarantee that your website is not ready for your marketing, your products, programs, and services are not ready for your marketing, your mindset, your money goals, none of that is ready for the marketing. So I, I really want you to succeed sooner than later. I, and I opened up a few spots on my calendar that I have um, this coming Monday. I have an, a couple this week, if you would like to talk to me. Um, I have some on Monday, and I was doing a special in my email newsletter, over the last week and frankly I'm a little disappointed in my email subscribers I must tell you because they're not paying attention they're not paying attention or they just are so lackadaisical about what they're doing in their business I want to talk to serious motivated entrepreneurs who want to freaking kick but this year, I want to talk to you if that's you. I want to talk to you if you want to kick butt this year. If you want to make more money and stop working so freaking hard doing it with getting systems in place, technology, the right technology, the right programs, products, and services, and the right marketing. If that is you, I have opened up some spots for some 
complimentary coaching sessions, not a sales conversation, a coaching call. And I only have, let's see, I was offering 10 spots in my newsletter. Can you believe that three people took me up on it? I know it was over New Year's and I know it was over the holidays, but you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention and you got to show up, right? Now, you can't reschedule these. You can't just come and then, oh, I'm sick or, oh, I have to reschedule. No, these are freaking serious coaching calls that I might tell you the single most important thing that you need to know in order to make a huge, bigger difference in your money goals this year. This my you want one. Okay. <laughs> Second time I'm here this, that you've heard this today. Okay, good. Uh, because, oh my God, it's, if you don't start now, when are you going to start? If you do start now and you're not prepared for making the kind of money that you really want to make because you don't have all these things in place, then March is going to come along and you're not going to have made your sales goals so far. And then you're going to get discouraged. And a discouraged entrepreneur is bad because they get no lack of motivation. You don't want to do more marketing. Um, you hide. You hide from the phone. You hide from email, you hide from social media because you're discouraged or you feel down on yourself. And I don't want you to feel like that, right? We should never feel like that. Life, I mean, we're on this, we're on this journey together. And let's just help you course correct a little bit from what you did last year to really where you want to go this year. And so I have seven spots left for these coaching calls. And I can email you. Um, times to get in sooner than later because if you sign up for one of these you'll get taken to my online calendar scheduler which probably doesn't have a whole lot of availability in it in January but I have some secret slots that I've stashed away so um, but you have to go over to this page and fill out some questionnaires you got to do some work I want to know a little bit about your business what your goals are and um, so I'm going to tell you the page and the first seven people who sign up get it. And so you'll know via email if you are in that seven. Um, but I'm, I wasn't even going to offer it to the people on social media because I thought all my email subscribers would <laughs> take advantage. But they didn't. They didn't pay attention. So it's your lucky day. And, uh, and so we're going to do a free session with me over um, conference line. Um, and it'll be either this Friday or next Monday. So probably um, we could look at the calendar if those don't work for you. But all right, so it's jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash free call with cat. Jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash free call with cat. Now, don't all run over there at once. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go on over there and sign up, please, as fast as you can because I do want to help those who are really motivated to make some bigger money. Now, um, if you have no idea what your plan is this year, I would highly recommend you go through my business, big picture business planning um, two-part webinar first, okay? Now, you don't have to do it first, but you want to come with a little bit more clarity to this free call with me so that we can push through and get you some really good results. So I would recommend if you're signing up for the free call that you go do the business webinar first. It's only $57, you guys. Okay, so now you can go there. If you're not going to do a call with me, you can go there regardless. If you haven't done your plan, even if you have done your plan for this year, I guarantee you you will have not done everything that I'm talking about in this two-part webinar. Nobody ever does. Um, I talk about the big picture, like your calendar blocking. I talk about blocking even personal stuff and how to put things on your calendar so that you are focused every month and you have a lot of the leads coming in um, for maximum lead generation. I talk about the nitty gritty stuff on social media and your whole schedule with stuff like that too. So it's really good to do. And I want to send you over to that which I have to look up the page. I want to say it's mm -hmm. webinar. Nope. I'm going to have to go get the link, I think. Okay. 
can't see. I wasn't planning on today. Yeah, I have to um, look up the link and put it in the comments because I don't want to sit here and do it. And I'm all, eh? <laughs> okay. Um, say the website again, please. Uh, jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash free call with cat. But it's K-A-T. You have C-A-T there. It's K-A-T like Katrina, right? So, <laughs> yes, free call with Kat. All right, that's the page. Um, so the being and the doing, right? How are we going to be today? How are we going to be this year? How are we going to be every day the person that we need to be in order to attract a ton more of our perfect ideal clients, as well as, if you're single, attract the love of your life this year, because that is so important. If you don't have a love of your life, if you don't have a significant other, that can really be a big factor in why you're not making the money you want to make. Because when we're not fully in love with ourselves and are in love with our lives, then sometimes that is an area that you want to focus on. If that's an area you want to focus on, you need to put goals aside for that, right? The year that I met my current husband, Jason, that January, I was like, damn it, this is the year I'm going to meet him, right? And so January, I hit the goal. This is the year I'm going to meet him, period. There is no doubt about it. So I hired a matchmaking service for $6,000. I went to three different relationship workshops uh, for a tune of about $6,000 total. I was on four different dating sites, uh, online dating sites, and I made it my business to do it every day. Because if you want clients every day and you want to make money every day, you got to do what? Marketing and sales every day, right? You got to get out there in front of people. Same thing for dating. You got to put a business plan in place for dating. I'm not kidding you guys. So that, I mean, I met him in six months because I was all in for that goal. I was all in for that goal that year. And so you can do that too. And same thing goes for losing weight or exercising or whatever it is you have goals on. You have to be all in for those goals. Otherwise, they're just probably not going to come true, right? Or you're just going to make it half-ass. And you don't want to be half-assing your 2019. Let's not think about half-assing our 2019 uh, this year. Let's think about saying it, playing it full out. Playing it full out, two feet in. Now, if you have a job, and you're trying to start your own business, so you've got one foot over here and one foot over there, I would say, now I don't like to just tell people, well, quit your job and do your business. But when you do leave your job, you have 40 hours a week to work on the business and make more money. So you don't have to necessarily get the business up to the level it is income-wise that you are in your current job. That's near to impossible, people. It's near to impossible. If you're making 80000 in your job and you think you need to make 80000 in your business before you leave the job, go smoke another bowl. I'm just, I'm just saying, that's just ridiculous to think you're going to probably do that. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know anybody who seriously can do that. That's like having two businesses. You're going to get burnt out. You're going to get sick. There's so many horrible things that could happen if you really try to attempt that, try to make 30,000 or 40,000 over in your business and then quit the job and then have the right marketing in place to when you quit the job that boop, you have 40 hours a week to go market and make the money quickly. Okay. That's what you do when you have a job and you're trying to start a business. So just be realistic and practical with your goals, with your uh, expectations and now, I want you to stretch a little bit. Of course, we don't want to play small. We want to play big. But don't be – I had a coach one time that was like, well, your goal's too small for 100000 Just make it a million. And I'm like, but I'm not even making 100000 yet. Like, that just seems ridiculous. And so I changed my goal to, like, $5 million because he said, oh, it's no problem. And I'm like, really? Okay, show me how. And he didn't show me how. <laughs> like, well, thanks a lot for the disappointment. Whatever. So realistic yet stretch is the perfect way to be. All right. So if you are just catching this, hey, Talise um, and Amanda and Dorsey, if any of you guys are super motivated to make this your best year yet ever, and I'm not just saying that. I'm putting my mouth where my money is, my money where my mouth is. <laughs> and like I said earlier, I have seven free coaching slots open 
uh, my calendar in the next seven or eight days. So if you want one of them, there's a link uh, in the comments that Michelle, uh, this Maya put there, although it's cat with a K, not a C. So um, you have to go over to that page and fill it out. And don't think, oh, I'm watching this four hours later. I bet those spots are already taken. You don't know if you don't ask. Don't uh, don't put that out there. Say, you know what? I'll bet she hasn't gotten all hers yet, filled yet, and I'm gonna fill one out. Or it's worth filling one out just to see if I made the seven, right? I mean, it can you can you understand that it's ridiculous for you to think that? Oh, I'm not gonna sign up because for sure she's got her seven by now. No, I've been marketing this for like seven days, you guys, and I've gotten three people to sign up for ten slots. People are not paying attention. They're not paying attention. Neither are your prospects, by the way. People, you gotta stop and pay attention. If there's something you know you want or somebody you're following, you've got to pay attention. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out. So maybe some of you need to have your word for the year be pay attention. Pay attention to things around you because there's opportunities all around you. I just got an email this morning, for example, from, <coughs> this conference in Washington, D.C. that I had applied for months ago. I apply for everything that comes across my desk. Any kind of conference that reaches entrepreneurs or people that want to start a business or anything that I might fit in because you never know where you're going to meet your next awesome, you know, client or two or five, right? And you never know what conference is right for you. And this is about playing bigger. And so I apply for everything. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you apply for everything? Because, you know, if they accept you, if they accept me for the speaking gig in Washington, D.C., and all of a sudden I'm like, I don't really want to go to Washington, D.C., I can decline it. They can get the next person off the list. You can always decline it. But if you don't get asked and you don't know and you don't apply, you don't know. So stop like making a stupid decision about not applying or not signing up for something this year, but you're just self-sabotaging yourself. You got to stop it. You got to stop self-sabotaging yourself and you got to go for it. You just got to sign up. You got to do it anyways. You got to ask. You got to go for it. You're playing way too small if you let your mindset, your cr crappy head trash, hold you back. You gotta stop that this year. Put a sticky note in front of your desk or something that tells you otherwise, right? Whatever you have to do to make sure you're not playing small and you're not holding yourself back. And if you need a coach or an accountability person or someone who can really show you the how, I would love to help you. I really would love to help you. So sign up for the call. You never know what number you're gonna be. Um, but if you don't sign up, you certainly won't get a call. And how does that feel, right? So let's go, people. All right, I want to talk to you. I want you to make it your best year ever. I I don't know how else to do that other than you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to videos of people that are going to tell you things, motivate you. Um, my emails are really usually content rich. My blog posts, my God, I have so much content on my blog that is insane on what you can do, video, YouTube. Yes, you can do stuff for free, you guys, but to get a really good money-making plan that's gonna keep you uh, focused all year, you really need a coach. Whether it's me or somebody else, you better get one coach that's gonna help you with the business and marketing and stuff like that. Because if you have three coaches, we're all gonna tell you different things and then you're gonna be confused and you're not gonna do it all. Right now, when I know somebody has a coach already and they hire me, I make sure I know what that other coach is talking about. I make sure that I find out everything they're working on because it matters. Everything in your business and marketing and website and your mindset has to flow together in order to make a smooth running money making machine. You want a smooth running money making machine, right? Well, then you have to look at everything. I don't look at just one piece of the thing. Oh, let me just look at your website and fix it. No, because that matters with what you're saying, your networking event, your speaking gig, your Facebook Live, your social media. It all has to flow together. And if you don't have someone that's helping you do that, then you might have the wrong person. So really look at that, okay? And come talk to me if you want to have a chat, all right? So have a great New Year's, you guys. Hope you're getting back into the swing. Do something today that's productive. 
that can either get you in front of some prospects, pick up the phone, call some people, say, Happy New Year. What are you up to this year? What are your goals? Right? Do it. Just do it. No one's going to die. Just do it. Yeah. All right. And be grateful. Thanks, Miss Maya, <laughs> for the shirt. All right. Happy New Year, guys. I hope to talk to you soon.